Mumbai with Richie K. We're live on 94.3 FM, statutory warning only if you're in the backseat of a radio taxi, a chauffeur-driven car, at home, at work. We're streaming Facebook live at facebook.com slash radio1.mum, and we've tagged Body Art, which is uh, Nawaz Modi Singhania's uh, passion project. Hi, so wonderful to see you. How are you? And you. It's been a while in your studio. Yes. Uh, there's so much interest around organic food and organic lifestyle mm -hmm. that we decided to, to do this thing called Organic Tuesdays. And for the course of the next month, every Tuesday, we're going to have somebody who advocates a clean lifestyle, an organic lifestyle. And I couldn't think of a better person to begin it. I than am Daniel. delighted to be here. Thank you. You know, and because you said yes, we have Perizad Zorabian, we have oh, Amrita yeah. Raichand. Uh, you know, we have so many other people who are coming in in the weeks to come. Oh, no, they said but, yes because of you. <laughs> but, but you're number one. We we'll kick you. this off with you. And really, this stems from a conversation that I had um, in, in, in your, I think it's your dad's apartment now, where body art is on the ground floor. And uh, you were talking in the same to, building. In the yes. same building. And mm -hmm. it's so beautiful. And you were advocating organic food to me. And you made it sound so exciting. And it is exciting. Mm. So talk uh, my listeners through that. So uh, organic food, of course, is about making sure that, you know, you cut out the livestock feed. Uh, I'm sure Perez will be talking to you a lot more about that. It's, uh, you know... GMO is an issue, you um, you know, genetically modified organisms are an issue, they are kept at bay. Uh, when it comes to um, uh, ensuring that, you know, your pesticides are very natural and, you know, you don't have artificial growth uh, uh, boosters, etc., you're, um, you're in order. Uh, now, this can be done very well. Uh, we do a lot of this actually at our Alibag farm. I personally take on a lot of this. It's very exciting. And um, a lot of your foods can be made in a very healthy fashion, even your junk food. So I have kids which are always a challenge because they naturally reach out for the pizzas and the pastas and the burgers and, you know, um, no matter how healthy their tiffin box ends up being in school, it's always what's happening in your neighbor's tiffin box that is a lot more comfortable, right? A lot more happening and um, exciting. So um, how do you keep pace with that? So I've found some very clever ways of doing that, of uh, masking foods and uh, making them happen. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to get me to talk about that soon enough. No, talk right, right now. Away. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, for example, if you want to get the vegetables in and little kids would hit them, uh, I kind of stuff them into cutlets and uh, make them into very interesting shapes, uh, hearts and other things for my little girls. Oh. Um, burgers, you, you want burgers. So, uh, you know, make them out of flatter bread and make sure that it's not bread the way we know it, but it's more made out of quinoa flour. So that's protein based. Uh, or ragi, nachni, other substitutes, healthier substitutes, uh, which are more protein based, have a lot of nutrient value and very low on the actual starch content. Um, a lot of sauces, etc., which don't have to be the actual mayo. Patty is hugely disguisable. You can do whatever you want with it. They have no clue. And uh, vegetables stuck in there. French fries, which are not uh, actual potatoes, but sweet potato and not fried. So you have the whole goodness of that as well. Uh, I make a lot of pizzas, which um, are like, what, what do they call them? They call them like cocas in some places, where it's really not uh, too much of uh, bread out there, too much of the base out there, but it's very thin. It's very crispy. It is again made out of um, quinoa or nachni or ragi, uh, not out of white flour. And you can top it with the most interesting of vegetables and make it delicious with sauces, etc. Uh, I love making these um, frozen, uh, you know, um, what do they call them? Like uh, ice creams. Uh, and uh, you can put anything in there that you like want. You can, in a way, yes, they yeah. are actually, uh, it's our local gola. So uh, you can shove anything that you want in there orange juice and freeze it uh, you know overnight and you've got a gola stick uh watermelon juice you do the same kids love it they don't know the difference it's a great con i hope they're not listening <laughs> <laughs> in school in college or sleeping if they're on holiday <laughs> I hope, uh, any or all of the above and there's a whole lot more there as well so uh you know soups are a great con i can chuck anything into a soup you, you would have no idea as long as it tastes good uh, and now that my elder one is uh, getting smart to my ways, uh, I've had to find new ways of doing this. So I've come up with something called Tiranga Chawal. 
Ooh. I kind of make it sound like the Indian flag. Uh, it's quinoa. It's not chawal at all. Uh, but it is three layered tiranga. And, uh, you know, it, it has the green, the white, uh, and the orange. So the green is uh, green because of the palak and the broccoli. And <laughs> the white because of other stuff, radish and pumpkin and softer stuff. Uh, and the orange because of beetroot and carrot. And that's how I color it. So they managed to get a lot of vegetables in there as well. Mamma mia. More Nawaz Modi Singhania right after this. The Jonas Brothers and Cool.